So I've just seen a Peter and he's inspired me to try something with tofu. Now, he talked about people saying it's tasteless and textureless. So I'm gonna try and create a bit of flavor for the tofu with a marinade. We're gonna start with the chili, finely diced. So get all that in there. Some garlic. And I've got some palm sugar here. I'm just gonna finely grate that in. And then we're going into some rice wine vinegar. Pour in a couple of tablespoons. We have some olive oil, some good quality olive oil. Like that. Some soy sauce. And now I'm going to use a Horopito Hit, which is an Attitude Foods product. Now, Horopito comes from the, a New Zealand native pepper tree. So it's quite interesting to use some of New Zealand's native herbs in your, in your cooking. It also has organic sea salt in it as well. So we're just going to give this a mix up. Now this marinade is ready for the tofu. I've cut the tofu up into little cubes, as you can see here, and you just want to pop it into the marinade. So it all depends on how big your bowl is that you're marinating in to how much ingredients you need. So you just want the marinade to cover over the tofu. Excellent, so let's just whack them in there. You'll see that the tofu hasn't been covered by the marinade, so I'm gonna add a little bit more liquid to it, a little bit more rice wine vinegar, a little bit more olive oil, and if some are still just poking out, you just wanna halfway through flip them over. So you wanna leave this into a fridge for at least an hour, overnight is better. So I've chopped up some veggies for the skewers. My tofu's been marinating and it looks really good. You'll see the colour difference as well, so it means it's soaked up the marinade and it's going to be full of flavour. Now also, when you're looking for tofu, and especially for this recipe, you want to look for the firm tofu. And you'll see that this one's got little holes through it which help absorb the marinade better. You'll notice there's some tofu say firm, but you'll see that it's quite a silky film around the outside of it. So it just means that when you stick your skewer into it, it's just going to fall off it and it's going to be an absolute disaster. So I'm going to make the skewers now. I've been soaking my skewers in some water. Now this helps for when you heat them up, they're not going to split with your food on it. So soak them in water for about 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and I'm just going to start threading some chopped capskin on. I've got some red onion. Grab a chunk of tofu. And just any order, it doesn't matter, however you like it. Now you'll notice as well that the tofu is slightly bigger than the, the vegetables itself. Some tofu may not be because it's not gonna be perfect, but you wanna try and get it just slightly bigger because you want the tofu to have direct contact with the heat. Now a good tip with red onion, cut it up and soak it in some water. This just has to be cold water for say 10 minutes. Then take it out of the cold water and wrap it in a tea towel and give it a good squeeze. That will take away the initial real strong flavor of the red onion, but it will still give you that nice sweet red onion taste as well. So place that on. Like I said, any order, it doesn't matter. Mix them up. And there we go. Right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use the leftover marinade Put it into a saucepan, we're going to bring it up to the boil and just reduce it a little bit. Now it does have oil in it so it's not going to fully reduce but I just want to use it so I can braise the, the kebabs with while it's cooking. Meanwhile while we're waiting for that let's get the pan on for the kebabs, bring it up to a high heat so you want a little bit of oil in it. So now it's time to shallow fry our skewers. So here we go. Be careful when pressing them in, chase them away. Looking really good. Make sure that the oil's not too hot so that it splatters everywhere. Excellent, looking good. Make sure that they're golden brown. These are looking done, so I'm going to turn these off and I'm going to clear my bench and prepare my wild rice. So I've got my rice here. I've got a mixture of rices. I've got wild rice, I've got black rice, I've got some white rice. Now with that, I'm going to add some blanched spinach. Break it all up in your hands before you throw it in there so it's not in big chunks. Now blanching spinach, you only want to get a boil, some boiling water in a pot and then add your spinach for a couple of minutes, take it out and refresh it straight away in some icy cold water. So chuck a good amount of that in. And we've got some pickled ginger, so chuck some pickled ginger through there. Now for our kefir kick, which is another Attitude Foods product. This has also got the, the organic New Zealand sea salt in it as well, so it's going to give you that seasoning. And if you smell it, you can really smell the kefir lime leaf come through, which is going to give it a nice zesty flavour as well. So we're just going to give it a good sprinkle over. Perfect. 
Last ingredients for our rice is gonna be some dukkha. Now it's dukkha or dukkha to some people. It's like potato or potato, who cares? You know, as long as you use it. And it's great with wild rice, it's great in salads, soups, it doesn't matter. So, it's traditionally used with um, a good fresh bread, like um, your Turkish bread or, or ciabatta, and you um, dip it into oil and then into the dukkha and eat it. So I'm just gonna be putting it over this rice here to give it a good kick. Let's give it a good stir, mix it up. So make sure you mix it well so that it comes through all the flavors. Now I'm just gonna give it a little taste as well. Always gonna check for seasoning. So you gotta make sure you get a little bit of everything on and Mmm, mmm, that was good. Okay, now we need our kebabs. So, I've got some paper towels here, and I'll place my kebabs on the top. And you wanna drain all the excess oil on your paper towel. So there you go, so you got them all nice. Um, tofu is looking nice and brown, which is what we're looking for. So just make sure you drain all that excess oil because we don't really want that in our dish. Now for the rice, so we're gonna plate up. So like Peter said, when you first bring out a dish, the first sense you use is with your eyes. So you pretty much taste the dish and smell the dish with your eyes first. You have a look at the presentation and then you smell it and then you taste it. All right, let's top it with our tofu. So nicely spaced, beautifully presented. Look at it, it's beautiful. Now, don't forget the sauce that's been reducing. Now you don't want to put too much of the sauce on, just a tiny little bit just to give that extra little bit of flavour. Excellent, there you go. And there you have it, beautiful marinated tofu kebabs on a nice bed of wild rice.